Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in this video we will be doing a POI analysis on Coney Crossroads. Now I don't think we have that many POIs left. We have Coney, Sanctuary, Joan, Joneses, um, have we done Rocky? Maybe Rocky, I can't remember if we've done Rocky, and Greasy. So actually not a lot left and then the plan is to slam these out as soon as possible. And then I am going to be trying to do just the maybe like three split videos. So like I quickly go over like four minutes, five minutes each uh, a split and then that be it. So anyway, back into Kony. So Kony in total, let's find out how many chests Kony has. Pop open up here. So Kony has 19 chests as we can see here. So I'll zoom it out a bit. So there are 19 chests in Kony here, but there are like some over here. So you should be able to get these four and maybe these ones up here unless there's a split over here where someone might take these. But you should be able to get the four that are over here as well. So it's really like 23 chests, but just 19 in total. In, and you can even go over here and get three more if you wanted to go up for whatever reason. But I think this is looted by a split over here. So then floor loot, we have 95 floor loot spawns. So I'll try to zoom out and see if you can get a 95. You can't, but there's 95 right here. This isn't including the three over here and the ones over here in the bridge, just in Coney right here. And then ammo boxes, we have 27. Weapon and mended machines, we have two weapons and one mended. So this is a chance to get minis, and these are a chance to get, you know, a blue or higher rarity weapon in one of these. So, you know, blue striker, blue SMG, that's always pretty good. Web shooters, none really nearby. I mean, there's two over here, but this is a part of split. You won't get that, and you won't get any of the other ones that are around here. But you might be able to rotate into Bugle late and see if you can pick up maybe one or two over here. But, you know, that even that's, like, pretty risky. Now, the big bin, it has, like, a shit ton. What is this? 11, 12 of these four-door cars. Now, these cars are disgustingly good, and this is probably one of the reasons why it will be a contested POI is because it's in the middle of the map, and it has so many of these cars. And the metal's good because of the gas station roofs here give you like metal each. So you actually have a fair amount of metal here, but the cars are crucial. So let's go to off-road tires. You have a ton, ton of off-road tire spawns. There's fences back here you can farm too and brick over here as well. But the big thing there is these cars. So if you're landing here and you're not rotating out with these cars, you are, there's no point even landing here. You might as well land a split that doesn't have the cars. Because you can use cars realistically if you use them well. You can even use them up until like first move and second move and maybe. But using the cars to rotate is definitely crucial if you don't have a web shooter nearby. Especially after the, the web shooter nerf. So nothing else really matters. Slip truck doesn't matter. Barrels are on s nine barrels I think. No there's six barrels in Coney and three outside. So if you do get this unconned you could technically do something where you hit all these barrels and then rotate out. But uh, often time you will just want to top yourself off with these barrels here. So maybe get to 50 and then use the barrels to get yourself over and save yourself a big or something. So now knobs, there are nine, or not nine, sorry, five nom spawns. One in each, each of these houses, one down here, and then two over here. Now nothing else really matters. Coolers, there are four cooler spawns over here. You might be able to get this one, but you, again, if this is split, then you won't be able to get this. But if it's not, then you will. Uh, ice machines, there are two, three ice machine spawns if you include this, but two just inside. And the reboot van is far on this side. So now let's talk a bit about how Kony can actually be split. So I think how Kony will be split is, let's just turn back on the chest, is it will be split like this. Is kind of probably the most common split here. So someone might land here and here, and then someone else might land like here and here. Now this split isn't bad. I mean, there's pros and cons of both sides. The reboot van is on this side, so that's good. Uh, however, the drop map I have is created for this side over here. So if you want to drop map, then you want to land on this side over here. And if not, then you have to find another one for the other side. Now. Uh, the why, the reason why this drop map is made over here, because I'm pretty sure this is the highest build in here. So you land in, grab an AR, and see if you can beam the people out of the air. Now it would be different if the bus comes like this, because then these people are landing before you are, and you have to be careful of getting beamed out of the air. It's kind of the difference. Now the reason why I do honestly like this side better is because you just have more buildings. Like over here it gets all of this, but you get, there's a fair amount of metal here. There's, you know, again, a fair amount of metal here too, but you get to hit all of this. There's a fuck ton of pallets in here. Then you also get these houses over here and you can rotate up. So rotating up is actually pretty good. There's a fair amount of more chest up here that you can hit and rotate back. Now you can say the same about the other side as well, because remember they have the ammo boxes uh, and the, they don't have as much noms as this side, but they do have the coolers down here. 
So if this is unconned, then this side down here might end up winning. But just test it out a bit and see which side you prefer fighting at. If you prefer fighting over here and being the people that push across, or if you prefer fighting here and being the people that push across. Now, in terms of who I think has the advantage depending on who pushes across, I think if this side over here pushes in, I think this team has the advantage over here just because they can be set up like this pretty hard. And if you run across this right here, this middle zone, then you can easily get pressured from both sides and end up losing. Now, if this team does something where they do a long way, so whether they go all the way around together, so both go like this, then you might be able to because this is bigger in terms of length. So if we think about this POI, just quickly, or this side over here, it's longer than this one over here. And because of that, if it's more split, so if we have something like this, then it is a shorter distance if it was like like this or on this side. But lengthwise, it's longer. So what might happen is you might have something where, I don't know what this side is, but if they do something like this, then they're both looting down like that. And then if you do something like this, then you probably would loot across. Honestly, now that I explain this, I think this side's honestly better. But the drop app is created over here, so I'm sorry about that. But um, overall, what was I saying? Oh, if you go around like this, you might be able to hit a hard flank on these guys if they're expecting you from this over here. So you hard key this guy, that he runs inside the building probably. You keep keying him, or you wait for his teammate to come over, and then you guys jump on him in the middle of the road. Same if you do the other way around. Now, if you are these guys here, uh, I would say you don't ha you don't have to fight. Uh, grab a car, and you do have enough loot down here if it's uncon to hit some of this spot and rotate out if you wanted to. Now, if you wanted to fight, we have to think about which spot can actually loot up quicker. And I do think it does go over here, just because of it's all kind of one building. So all you need to do is hit this building, and uh, together as a duo, and you are good to push. Well, this side has to loot almost four different buildings to get. A good amount of chests. How many chests? There are six. So they want to get the same amount of chests over here. They'd have to loot these two buildings, which means they're split. They are split. In here, the buildings are connected, so you aren't really split and getting the same amount of chests as this side over here. So let's say hypothetically that we have one, two, and we have one, two. At one and two, they sneak up. You don't hear them until they're already in your building, and one is pretty much boned. It's, it's going to be a 1v2 before this guy finds his way out and rotates over or breaks through or does something like this. So you have a 1v2 for a bit just because the buildings are split. Now, if two happens to be on the roof, then it's not really a 1v2, but if he is inside Ludin, then it is. Now, I'm trying to think. Surge honestly isn't that big of a deal this season because of the weapons. The spray weapons are disgustingly good. So how you should get Surge is just by hopping in your car, having your controller player or whoever has the best AR aim to be in the backseat while the other one's driving. And you just look for a team that's either driving or running and try to crack them and beam them. And 3 2 ones and stuff like that are really big this season. So Surge should not be an issue. You don't really need to find a Surge position that well. You just need to be in a good zone position. So you can park your car, box it, box it up, and then rotate it onto the next zone. Alrighty, so the next one, or next uh, POI, I think I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to go down. I think I'm going to go Sanctuary, Joneses, Rocky, Rios, Greasy, and then we'll do the split one after. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know, I don't know, let me know what else you want to see. Cheers.